Say hello to our dear friend, Tricky R8. He's a quiet member of the family. That's, that's all I got. I'm able to review this mini PC thanks to the launch of Taobao in Australia, an online store with a wide variety of items, even mini PCs similar to this one. Sign up during the promo period as a new user and you'll get a six Australian dollar voucher, exclusive two cent deals and up to 15% off. Oh, and there's free shipping to Australia on fashion, click and collect orders over 50 Australian dollars. So check out the Taobao double 11 sale, sort of like an early Black Friday sale, and use the exclusive coupons for additional discounts off your purchase. Use Rob5 for 5 AUD off 50, Rob10 for $10 off 100, and Rob20 for 20 Australian dollars off an order of $200. These exclusive offers expire on the 14th of November, Sydney time. Find the Taobao app and codes in the video description to save on your purchase. Does this look familiar? It sure does to me. It's like a plastic version of the B-Link Sur 8 and 9. And that's because TrigKey uses the same manufacturer. So you're going to see a lot of familiarities. While I do like my premium metal cases, this one has sold plastic and it looks good in blue. Inside it is a great bang for buck chip known as the AMD Ryzen 8745HS, specifically made for the Chinese market. But in today's world, good luck stopping it from going to other areas. It's 8 cores, 16 threads with Radeon 780M integrated graphics, and slightly worse than the 8845HS. So AMD sells it at a lower price, and those savings get passed on to you. At least, we hope so. I found the Trigkey R8 for 470 US dollars, which is around 725 Aussie dollars. Although at the time it was on sale, and I managed to snag one for 609 AUD, which was frankly a banger of a deal. For the dollars, you get 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM and a one terabyte SSD. The listing I bought it from incorrectly specified LPE DDR5. Don't worry though. Incorrect specifications is nothing new in mini PC land and part of the job description. The TrigKey R8 comes with a manual, very compact 19 volt 120 watt wall power supply and a HDMI cable. The front has a clear CMOS button, USB type A 10 gigabit and a USB type C 10 gigabit which supports data and display. There's also a 3.5 millimeter audio jack and power button. Tricky has gone with an Intel Wi-Fi 6 AX200 for wireless and Bluetooth. The back has a 2.5 gigabit LAN jack. The top USB Type A port is 10 gigabit. The one below is USB 2. There's also HDMI 2.1, DisplayPort 1.4, and the USB 4 40 gigabit, which is fully featured and supports powering the mini PC. We have another 3.5 millimeter audio jack, which is a nice unique feature and the barrel jack connector. Opening this one up is not too bad. The coolest part is that the screws aren't covered with glued on rubber inserts. My complaint with the B-Link Sir 8 and 9 is addressed here. Go figure. Anyway, after the four screws are out, lift the lid and there are additional screws to remove to be able to lift the metal SSD and RAM core. Trigkey's R8 has dual 2280 M.2 Gen 4 X4 slots with one occupied by a crucial P3 Plus Gen 4 drive. It's nice they include two thermal pads for those throwing in extra storage. On the memory side, the RAM included is crucial DDR5 5600. The M.2 wireless card is also easy to access. Windows 11 Pro is pre-installed and the malware byte scan came back clean. Happy to report Ubuntu worked fine on this mini with the latest version. All right, after much testing, here are the results of the Tricky R8. The Cinebench single core CPU benchmark shows what you'd expect. Very similar performance to other minis with the same CPU or the Ryzen H255, which is the refresh. Multicore is down. The best result is 5.5% better, and that's because the R8's power limit maxes out at 45 watts. Geekbench single core CPU shows similar performance to the other minis. But again, it falls behind in the multi-core CPU test against the competition with higher power limits. The best result from the same CPU is 5.5% ahead. 
On to video encoding, and the short H.264 CPU test shows around a 5% lead for the best result. With the longer AV1 encoding test, it falls a bit further behind. Encoding the same file with the help of the iGPU returns the slowest result for a Radeon 780M by a small margin. For the AI test, the best result is taken, and since the R8 doesn't have a higher power limit option, it's slightly behind as expected. AI GPU performance is good with no noticeable drop in result. We can also see this in the 3 Mark graphics benchmark, where the Trinky holds up fine against its competitors in Firestrike. The same in Time Spy and Steel Nomad Lite. Overall, the Trinky R8 has around a 5% drop in multi core performance, but otherwise, all A OK against the competition. When first released, AMD's Radeon 780M set a new bar for integrated graphics, allowing for great results with most esports titles. And for something new, I'm trying these at 1080p high detail. Battlefield 6 is out and about, and Nick has roped me into playing it. Thanks, buddy. And so, of course, I have to test it. The frame rate isn't good enough at 1080p low natively rendered, but FSR performance mode adds quite a bit, and ultra performance ups the frame rate even more. I guess you could play it like this if it's your only option. Those wanting to emulate PS3, Xbox 360, and Wii U titles will have a pretty good time with the AMD Ryzen 8745HS. And one option to play Battlefield 6 at higher detail and resolution is to hook up an eGPU to the USB 4 port. And here it's working fine with the RTX 4070 Super. The Linux kernel compile is a recently added benchmark and the R8 is behind the H255 minis around 6%, which is similar to the other CPU results we've already seen. In Adobe Photoshop, the R8 is the worst performer of the 8-core Ryzen minis with a Radeon 780M, but the margins aren't huge. The top result is only 4% ahead. Adobe Premiere Pro is up next, and the Trigkey R8 once again has lower performance here than the other minis. 3 Mark's storage benchmark shows the Crucial Drive performing pretty well compared to the competition. As we saw when opening the Mini, the SSD cooler is pretty chunky and the temp held up fine with no thermal throttling recorded. Bluetooth range is nothing amazing. In fact, it falls below average, but at least it's not broken. For wireless, there were no dropouts or latency spikes at 12 meters or 39 feet from the router using the 5G band. An idle power draw of 8 watts is very good, and the maximum hit the low 80s. The lower 45 watt power limit helps keep the maximum CPU temp under 90C, which is great. But what's really impressive is the low fan noise. Yes, we've saved the best for last. Well, almost last. Under load, the Trigkey R8 is one of the quietest mini PCs tested, and my ears were overjoyed. This is what I live for. As I've mentioned previously, mini PCs are slowly trending upwards in volume over time, and this one falls in line with many others currently available. Mashing the delete key on startup will let you into the BIOS, in AMD, CBS, MBIO common options, and GFX configuration, you can set the VRAM limit. If we go back, FCH Common Options has the AC power loss setting. Unfortunately, the R8 has the manual power limit setting hidden and can't be set in AMD CBS. If we go back and into OEM feature, there is a power limit setting which is set to performance mode, and the claim is that it's running at 65 watts, according to Aiden. That's fake news. Performance mode runs at 45 watts. So, Aiden, ever thought about a career in politics? You might be wondering what balance mode is running at. Logically, it would be 35 watts, and after testing it, I can confirm that's the case. 
Trigkey's R8 is a nice addition to Mini PC Land, and while it doesn't come with a metal case like the B-Link Sur 8 and 9, build quality is fine. No visa mount is included, but the compact power supply is very welcome, and something B-Link hasn't included with their units we've looked at. While the front USB-C port doesn't support powering the Mini, the USB 4 port does. There's no Oculink or Dual LAN if you need those. Trigkey's R8 ticks most of the boxes in the second column. The 45 watt power limit is the sweet spot with these CPUs. Any lower and you get big drops in performance, any higher and you have small CPU gains for more heat, power draw and fan noise. Trigkey only offers this one in one pre-build configuration. The price is decent, but not great compared to the B-Link Sur 8. On the official website, the price is listed for $429 US dollars, which would be great, but the website is not accepting orders. Yet. Forget BIOS updates or driver downloads. There's nothing useful in the support section of TrigKey's website. A standard one-year warranty is included, and the load fan noise is excellent. On the checklist, this one has eight crosses, so it gets a score of 22 out of 30. I like the Trigkey R8 a lot. It gets most things right. Find it linked in the video description if you're interested. And if you'd like to know more about the B-Link Sur 8 and 9 Mini PC, then this video has you covered. Cheers. Tell it. <laughs>